<laughs> Yay. <laughs> so, okay, I just came back from an interview and it ran out right and whatever. Um, they're gonna call me back Friday, but I have an interview again tomorrow, um, for another company. For, like, a bookstore position, which I'm like, yeah, I can totally steal books. I'm just kidding, I wouldn't do that. Um, but I was thinking on my ride home and I was just like, okay... Um, you know how, like, some people, when they're in a relationship, they have better self-esteem? Um, because, oh, hello, they're wanted, and people, you know, like, most of the time are happy when they're in a relationship. Like, I just, you know, I was, like, thinking about it, and I was like, you know, when I was with my ex, I was at my lowest point of self-esteem ever. Um, ever. Like, I was always eating, and always depressed. Um, like, there were, there were points where I was happy, um, but I was just always really, I wasn't truly happy, okay? Um, and obviously that's a really important thing that, you, you know, you should be happy and shit. Um, so, I got to think, and then I was like, okay, you know what, I'm so much more confident now than I ever was, um, you think it would be just the opposite because we broke up and whatever. But I'm just so much happier. And, yeah, that's, you know, I got to thinking, I was like, if I'm happier alone, then what's the problem with it, you know? Um, like, my life right now is trying to find a job, hanging out with my cats and my friends, um, my bunny and my, ra um, my bunny, my bunny and my rabbit, my bunny and my hamster, okay, and, uh, you know, my family and whatever um and I enjoy that I don't need someone to tell me oh you need to go out and party and um get a boyfriend and whatever I'm like you know when I had a boyfriend I was so fucking insecure it's not even funny I suffocated myself in anxiety and insecurity in myself you know I thought I was the ugliest thing on the planet I thought I was the fattest thing on the planet I thought that no one would ever love me if my ex hadn't um I was fucking crazy, okay, and it was the lowest point in my life, um, I'm only 21 and I kind of went through a crisis, like a, well, I guess like a young life crisis, I don't know, um, but to just see myself in that position and then see myself now, I'm just so much happier, um, and I don't need anyone to tell me any different, like I need to go out and go mingle, blah, 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 like that Demi Lovato song, uh, how does it go? Who says I can't be single, that I have to go out and mingle, blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, you get the point. Um, so yeah, I'm happy now, and I'm myself now. That was a big problem before. I couldn't be myself. I couldn't, you know, get myself to love myself, and now I do love myself. Uh, actually a lot. I'm pretty much obsessed with myself, so get over it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I had to say for this vlog. Um, and I am gonna do, uh, like, um, a confession thing. Probably later on today, because I have nothing else to do, um, other than be stupid and make YouTube videos and be a whore like that. So, yeah. <sighs> That's pretty much all I said. Oh, and I have, like, well, kinda. I have a new friend. Her name's Sandy. Um, she's going out with my best friend, Justin. Hi, Sandy! <laughs> um, I hope you like Candy Pop. Like, I think you really like her. Um, anyway, so... Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope everyone has a wonderful day. And, um, yeah, I was trying to think of something else thoughtful to say, but I couldn't really think of anything. So, yeah, that's about it. Ooh, and, um, my mom and I, okay, we, we had this video, um, that we were singing War in, and it was pretty fucking hysterical. We're gonna reenact it. I'm gonna make her. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna make her. That will also be coming. Get ready, world. Oh yeah, it's December 13th.